Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this amazing herb crusted pork tenderloin. This recipe is packed full of amazing flavor. So if you want to learn how to do it, then just keep watching. And while you're watching guys, do not forget to like and share this video, leave comments in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel. So for this recipe, you would need to have some pork tenderloin, of course. And to make the marinade, I'll be using some olive oil, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and Italian herbs. So I'm going to give that a really good mix and I'll pour it into the bag together with my pork tenderloin, massage it really good, and I'll place this in the refrigerator overnight for best results. So the next day to make my herb blend, I used some parsley, basil, rosemary, tarragon, and I used Dijon mustard later on in the process, you'll see. <laughs> so today I also have some mushrooms and baby potatoes, and I'll be adding some leftover marinade from the pork into my potatoes and mushrooms, give that a really good mix, and I'll set that aside. So using a cast iron skillet, I added some olive oil, just to make sure nothing sticks to the pan. And then I added my marinated pork tenderloin. I brushed on some Dijon mustard onto the meat. The mustard is going to add such a beautiful flavor and above all, it's going to help the herbs stick to the meat. So do not skip this step. Make sure you add your Dijon mustard. So now you see me packing on my herb blend onto the top of my pork tenderloin. You can add it all over, but I just, like to do it on top and it just works and looks really pretty <laughs> so now i've added my mushrooms and my potatoes and i'm going to place the skillet in the oven at 425 degrees fahrenheit and i'm going to be roasting for 20 to 25 minutes or until internal temperature of at least 150 degrees fahrenheit so this is what it looks like all served up with my potatoes and mushrooms and i scooped on some of the juices that came off the meat while i was slicing into it garnished with some extra parsley and i dug right in guys i'm telling you you definitely need to try this one it is so delicious so so good marinating the meat overnight makes a tremendous difference you should not skip that step anyway thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for watching if this is your first time on my channel please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so you know when i post new videos and guys like and share this video with your friends and family and leave comments in the comment section down below i love you all see you guys in the next video